What is up guys? I appreciate you stopping by my grocery haul video. Kind of an off the cuff video that I just decided to do today because I had some time in a solid grocery haul that's pretty representative of what I get on a weekly basis. So you'll see a variety of things here. We're gonna cover what I get at the grocery store to either maintain or kind of bulk up a little bit. So, you know, we're coming off this winter season and we're looking to still add some more size but do it in a responsible way. I don't want to fully YOLO this diet and go off the rails. So we're going to be talking about all of my food selections and why I go about selecting those things. But before we get into the haul, I'd really appreciate it if you help me grow my channel. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, hit the video with a like, and leave any comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comments. You know I'll get back to you. So without further ado, let's talk about the frozen things that I get because I really should be putting them in the fridge before they dethaw on me. One of my go-to meals is eggs and potatoes. And rather than having to cut up potatoes every time, these Potatoes O'Brien at Kroger, basically they're diced potatoes, they have onions and pepper, super convenient, and they taste really good. What I'll do is just throw the potatoes down in the cast iron and then cook eggs into it. It turns out money every time. So I got a bag of these and then a bag of just like regular potatoes as well. Just one of those time saver things where I feel like you're not compromising the quality of the potato and it saves you so much time for having to chop those up. Next, my veggies with the meal prep. I'll do two or three bags of just stir fry veggies. And I might add some soy sauce in those while I cook them or some general soy sauce depending on my calorie. Once again, it's super easy and convenient to have all of these vegetables. You know, the, the stir fry classics. What, what do we have here? We got green beans onion, carrot, mushroom, broccoli, all in one easy bag. I know exactly how much I need for a week. I'll do like 100 grams per meal, so that's like two or three bags, depending on how much I have to prep. And those are really the only frozen things that I get, and I would recommend that you get those too if you're trying to save time with your meal prep. I'm gonna get these back in the freezer real quick. Oh, would you look at that? It's a pre-workout. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Don't worry about that for now, because next we're gonna go on to my proteins. And let's start it off with the worst one. The cost of eggs, this is just 18 large eggs from Kroger. It's like six bucks, it's very painful. Uh, this much used to be like, what, two, three dollars? So I can't wait, and I hope that eggs will go back down in price. But it's something that I still utilize in my diet because I do think eggs are a great protein source. Um, it'd be even better if I was still at home in Ohio and could get the farm fresh eggs. But you know, we'll, we'll work with what we got here in the city. Eggs are still a staple for me. Now this isn't something that I'll get all the time, but 92.8 lean ground beef, it's clutch. Uh, that was on sale for a pretty reasonable price. So I grabbed two pounds of that. I'm gonna work that into the meal prep this week. But this Laura's lean beef is something that I've used in my cuts. Look at these avocados trying to roll away from me. What are you guys doing? And I'm gonna cook that up today as well for my meal prep. And then of course, the bodybuilder classic, the chicken breast. Do you remember when chicken breast was like 199? Those were the days. It's no longer that cheap, but it's still pretty reasonable at 299. So, and I feel like I should tell you guys real quick, my goals with the grocery haul, I wanna keep it healthy cost effective and tasty in that order. So all of these things, I feel like they definitely help achieve that goal. But first, let's get the protein back in the fridge. Now, I'm a big fan of drinking my protein shakes with skim milk, not a ton of extra calories, just a little bit more carbs and protein. So this is something that stays in the rotation all year round for me. Alrighty, now on to some fun stuff. One of my big fat sources in my diet is avocado so i already have some but i got some kind of like not quite ready ripe avocados and i just feel really good on avocados compared to other fat sources like if i'm only using like a fun fat like this sriracha mayo it tastes great don't get me wrong i'll add it in with the avocado because i have that amount of fat in my diet but if i'm only using like bottled sauces i definitely notice i just don't quite feel as good so that's something that I'm always adding in for fats or avocados. Great monounsaturated fat with a lot of, uh, of benefits for your diet as well. And then for taste, we got a little bit of spicy mayo. Drizzle that on, a little bit of extra fat as well. We've only got six grams of fat per 15 grams. So pretty low compared to like 
the yum yum sauce or Chick-fil-A sauce. But these are my go-to fats, so let's get those put away. Next, we gotta talk about some other condiments. So when you're trying to be healthy, seasoning is your friend. I have a couple of these Kinder seasoning blends from Kroger. This one is a salt, pepper, and garlic. I also have like a, a smoky garlic and onion. And I'm a big fan of these. It's real convenient. Um, they're not the cheapest seasonings out there. I think there's definitely more budget options, but they just do such wonders for your chicken breast, for your beef. So it's something that I'm willing to put the money into because it just makes those meals so much more enjoyable. But big staple here is, is a good seasoning. And then you all know I'm a big fan of the protein pancakes. I didn't need any pancake mix for this week, but I have my light butter flavored syrup. Gosh, I'm so glad that I don't have to do that Walden Farms nonsense. This isn't quite the same amount of sweetness and calories as like a full syrup, or even I've done maple syrup in the past too, when I have to really slam the carbs. But this syrup is pretty delicious. I'm a big fan of it. And it stays in the rotation for whenever I'm trying to do like a not as aggressive bulk. You know the bodybuilding classic. I got two different sizes, one for the lunchbox, one for, I, I use this for like marinating chicken breast, uh, but the Buffalo Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Perfect amount of hot for me. I'm a complete wuss when it comes to anything spicy. So that's why I'll use this Buffalo seasoning. And it really just helps with that flavor. Once again, like a seasoning, having that zero calorie sauce is clutch to add some flavor, add some spice to your foods. Throw it on scrambled eggs, throw it on my chicken, throw it on my beef meals. I put that on everything, as they say. So, big fan of the Frank's Red Hot and it's gonna stay in the rotation forever and ever for me. All right, now let's talk about my pre and post-workout meals. So, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, there's chocolate Quaker instant oatmeal and cookies and cream that I've found. I kind of find them sporadically. I don't always find them, but when I do, they're usually on sale, so I buy a couple of them. And these are just kind of like a perfect amount of pre-workout for me in terms of the macros. So like I'll do two of these and it's 50 grams of carbs, throw some protein in there. They taste great, it digests really easily, and it just gives me good energy without upsetting my stomach before a workout. Now on that same token, post-workout, I consume a lot of carbs. So I like to do cocoa pebbles. I got this giant box, mega size actually, because this is about what I use in like a week or maybe eight days, maybe eight training sessions, is cocoa pebbles. I'll throw these in with the skim milk, add some whey protein powder once again, and it's just a great way to hit. I do like 100 grams of carbs post-workout. 100 grams of carbs in rice is a lot of rice. So I'd rather just smack this high glucose index carb I feel great after a workout, especially because I've been training pretty intensely lately. Now, you might be wondering why I have this here. Let's get this stuff put away first. Now, real quick, before we talk about this, I wanna tell you all about how you can kind of move laterally and use this grocery haul as inspiration depending on your goals. So, if I'm breaking it down, um, comparing my cutting versus my massing, um, let's, let's take that breakfast, for example, that I sometimes do, like eggs, egg whites, potatoes. So when I'm dieting, I'm not going to be eating as many whole eggs because they have more fat. I want to be doing an equal amount of eggs and egg whites. When I'm massing, I need more fat. So I'm going to be using whole eggs and not as much egg white. The biggest thing I want you to take away from this grocery haul is that you can still enjoy the foods that you like in moderation or in surplus, depending on your goals. You just kind of got to know what things to tweak, what things are super calorically dense. Maybe you need calories. So you add more of those things in. Like I'm thinking back to my cutting diet last fall when I got down to like sub 190. Um, I, my pre-workout meal was just straight up minute oats, whey protein and water. It wasn't the most fun, it wasn't the tastiest, but it hit the macros and it got the job done, right? Um, my post-workout was oatmeal and I, I would add a little bit more like sweetener or add a little bit of that fun stuff in there because I needed more carbs still. And my like go-to like chicken and rice meals, I only had like 100 grams of rice. I even got down to 50 grams of rice and veggies in, in the protein with just a little bit of avocado. So like know that you should probably eat similar things year round, but you can do things to make them either more fun if you have a ton of calories, or you can dial them back and make it so that they fit within a goal for your diet. But let's talk about this supplement that I've had on the counter and I'll make this caveat right now. 
Supplements are just the icing on top of the cake, guys. You need to have your nutrition dialed in before you spend the money on supplements. But when you do have that dialed in and you wanna step things up a notch, a good supplement can go a long way. So I've been partnering up with Raw Nutrition and they make this Savage pre-workout, which is Christopher Bumstead's uh, pre-workout. This one's called Christopher's Secret Stuff. So if you'll use my code, dmartin070, you can get 10% off of your purchase with Raw. I'm a big fan of Raw because they have very good ingredients dosed at the recommended dosages. So we're talking L-citrulline, we're talking alpha GPC, coconut fruit water for a little bit of hydration, caffeine, L-theanine, and a lot of other interesting things like beta alanine, the focus, like I mentioned, alpha GPC. So guys, if you need some supplements, maybe you need a whey protein powder, maybe you need a pre-workout, definitely feel free to use my code for the savings. Raw is a great brand. I appreciate you all for checking out the video. Let me know if you have any questions, of course, in the comments down below. Share the video around if any of your friends or family need inspiration for their healthy eating grocery haul. And until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later.